Honda 99, 99. Honda CRV is the 2.0. You can find it from right under here. I'm saying where it is. Right there, 2.0. Anyways, we're checking for fuel pressure, and we're gonna do that through the fuel filter right here, located right in the back of the engine. You look back, boom, it's right there. So all we did, all we did was loosen this nut. We're gonna go uh, turn the key to the on position, and it should shoot out gas in that end. If it does, sweet, we'll plug it back up. If it don't, then we know that the fuel pump's going bad. So if it does shoot out pressure, then we're going to do this in to make sure the fuel filter ain't clogged up. Alright. So, going to my hour, I'll undo it all the way. I'll tell you when to turn a key. Okay. We already loosened it up. This right here is, uh, 14 millimeter. Okay. That's tight. Also, how you'll change the fuel filter on the Honda CRV to 2.0. This is a 99 model. If I was a viewer, bro, I'd be like, I just got right in the ring while working. What would you think? I would think, okay. See, this is the difference between me and you, bro. I'd be like, this is the guy I think he is. Yeah. Yeah, big boy. That chocolate? Alright, so we're probably going to have to loosen those two bolts too, mine. Alright, let me pause this real quick. Those three bolts are 10 millimeters. Literally going through the steps of replacing this. See here, you got gas coming down. As you can see there. There's gonna be gas in that fuel filter itself. So. Ready? Yep. Alright, All right. so now you can see it's off. Three 10 millimeter bolts. Here's that. So when he turns the key, it should shoot out. And my, uh, when you turn it, if if I say stop, turn it back off. You hear me? I guess he didn't hear me, did he? I said if, uh, I said, if I say stop, turn it back off really quick. Okay. All right. You don't got to try to turn it over, just to the on. Go ahead. All right, stop, stop. All right, so that's how you take fuel pressure. There's plenty coming out that side. So we're going to put this back on and then do the other side now. All right, so we're taking the top one off. We already hit it a little bit. 17 millimeter. Be careful because there's this crush washer right in between it. Right there. It's not let it drop. Alright. Now, that the fuel filter is plugged back in on the bottom side, we're going to do the same check. It should shoot out the top. So let's go ahead and do the real quick. Mice, you want to go turn the key? All right, go ahead. Whoa, oh, stop. 
All right, don't try to turn it all the way on. Just. All right, stop. All right, well, that's how you check fuel pressure. The fuel filter is good. It's not clogged up or anything. You see, it's shooting at the top, so. That's how you do that.